Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with another video. Welcome back to the Penetration Testing Bootcamp. In this video, we're going to be talking about Nmap output and logging and verbosity of output. Right now, before we get started with talking about the various types of outputs and uh, what format you should use, uh, we first need to understand the importance of uh, logging and note-taking and documentation in a penetration test, regardless of the scope of, of the project you're working on. It's vitally important, especially in the early stages that involve information gathering. Since you're gathering a lot of information, you need to store any bit of information you get regarding the target. It really doesn't matter if the information is useful at the time being because it might become useful uh, in the future when you're talking about vulnerability analysis and exploitation as well. Um, so moreover, this becomes extremely important when talking about active information gathering uh, and port scanning with Nmap. Now, Nmap, uh, ba based on the type of scan you perform, will really display a moderate amount of information. And uh, this is where verbosity comes into play because Nmap allows you to control how much output you want in your scans. So you can either choose to have the default scan where you only have the results that are useful to you outputted. You can also reduce the amount of uh, information that is displayed to you and just keep it lean. We'll talk about that in a second. And uh, again, this is where the whole output uh, comes in output and logging functionality comes into play. It's a really, really good practice, regardless of the scope of the project you're working on to always log your scans for future reference. All right. Now, in the previous video uh, or in the previous set of Nmap videos, I had a Windows server and we're going to be following the same. Um, we're going to be following the, the same uh, the same structure here. So what I'll do is I'm just going to create a quick directory and I'll just call it Windows Server. Now, of course, I'm just generalizing here, or I'll just call it Windows 2008, something that I can actually recognize a whole lot easier. And then, of course, I'll change my directory into the Windows Server directory here, and we can now begin our Nmap scan, right? So I'm just gonna, uh, you, can, you can access the, the Nmap uh, manual or the man pages for Nmap. Now, any or most good Lin uh, GNU Linux utilities and tools uh, that are designed to work in the command line should have very good documentation and Nmap is no exception to this. Uh, they have fantastic documentation that actually covers all the important aspects here. And if you scroll all the way right to the bottom, I think where they actually cover output, you can see that Nmap primarily has three types of output. You have a normal Nmap, which is human readable. You then have an XML uh, output, which again displays it in XML, which you can then parse onto a web page, so on and so forth. And then you have the third one, which is your, um, this is going to be your Nmap greppable output. Uh, when I talk about greppable output, it's simply just a format that is much easier to be utilized or to be, uh, to actually be read through command line utilities like grep. So again, if you're, if you're conducting large scans, uh, using the, uh, the greppable output and, uh, you know, in conjunction with a utility like grep can actually make things a whole lot easier for you as opposed to using something like XML. Uh, which has a lot of uh, tags and uh, and and uh, and various other symbols. So uh, those are the three types of outputs, and then of course you can dis you can actually output all of them. So let's start off by running a quick um, stealth scan on our target IP, so 192.168.1.38, and of course we want to log this. So to to log this, we just say OA. So that means you're outputting all three formats. And uh, we can specify the absolute path to the directory we want to save the results, and then we need to provide a name. In my case, you can see I'm already in my Windows 2008 directory, so I'll just provide the outputs with a name. So I'll say Nmap, and I'll just give it a really recognizable name based on the scan type. So we'll call it Nmap Stealth, and I don't need to hit uh, or to type in any extension. Nmap will automatically do that, and I just hit Enter. All right, and that is going to conduct the scan, and it gives us the results, right? And um, if I list the files within this directory, you can see we have all three outputs. So we have GNMap, which is grippable Nmap. Uh, we then have the Nmap format, which is a human readable format, and then XML. So let, let me just cat all three of them. So Nmap still the GNMap, and I'll just hit enter. So you can see this is now sorted into a grippable format. If we take a look at the Nmap, which is the, just a human readable format, this displays it to us similar to, to the output Nmap would give us. And then, of course, we have XML. And um, we can actually just display that. And there we are. So it displays everything in the form of XML, which, I, as I said, it can be very useful if you're trying to render it onto another interface or to web based interface. Right. So there's a ton of information here. And um, 
we can just skip over that and let's talk about individual outputs which is uh, quite simple as well so what we'll do now is we'll just change the scan a little bit and uh, let's say we want to perform a connect scan right so again there would be no reason i would be running this ordinarily i'm just making a point with the outputs and uh, 38 and then i can say if i wanted a normal output i can say o n right uh, that would display it in human readable format and i would say nmap um, nmap and we can just say connect or yeah we'll just call it connect and then just hit enter and that hopefully will give us the results in a human readable format and uh, this will take a while because this is a connect scan so we'll just wait for this to complete and then uh, after this of course it's self-explanatory as to what will happen so uh, you can see we have the nmap connect and, and of course you can um, you can actually provide uh, an extension whether you want a txt it really doesn't matter it simply just outputs the the data in a more readable uh, format for you know for human beings um that being said again changing it to something like xml is very simple we just type in o and of course o stands for output and then the uppercase uh, stands for the option so that would output it into xml and if i wanted a grappable format i would say og and that outputs it into a grappable format so that is quite simple to understand now let's talk about verbosity because verbosity by default is you, you have a standard amount of verbosity in terms of what nmap will give out to the user it really doesn't um it really doesn't care or it really really doesn't give you that much information you need to specify uh, that you want uh, much more information from your scans right so what, what i'm going to do now is um is I'm just going to try and run a simple scan here. And I'll, I'll, what I will do here is uh, let me just remove nmap uh, connect, right? And uh, we can also, well, they all have the same extension. So we'll just create a new directory within this and we'll just call this, uh, we'll just call this verbose, right? And uh, we'll just enter that directory and let's talk about verbosity. So we have, we, we typically have three levels of verbosity. And then of course you can reduce the verbosity. The first, um, the first level of uh, verbosity will give you just uh, information about the scan's uh, progress. The second one or the second level will give you information about uh, packets and the network. And the last or the yeah the last or the third level of verbosity will give you information about um, about the scan. And again, it's much easier if I show you this. So again, nmap. We'll run a stealth scan and um, I'll just type in, uh, we can type in the first level of verbosity that is denoted by a single V and the second level is denoted by double V and third by three Vs, so on and so forth. It's really simple to understand. 1.38 and um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna output this into a normal human readable format just to show you what output we get and we'll just call this um we'll just call this uh we'll just we'll say single we'll just call it single or uh, you know we just keep it uh for the first level so we'll just call it first instead of single so i'll just hit enter and you can now see it's giving us the output uh regarding the the actual scan and, and its progress so when i when i say this it, it actually takes you through what nmap is doing so uh, first of all, it starts an ARP ping scan, which is important, and then it performs DNS resolution for that one host, uh, and then it performs the actual scan that we specified, and it out lo it logs the, the time that it does that, and that's very important. And then it starts scanning for the top uh, 1,000 most common ports, and of course, uh, it discovers all of these uh, open ports here, and uh, it then increases the delay uh because there seems to be a, uh, an increase uh which is fine and then it completes the scan and then it displays the result for us so again um if we just cat the output uh, it, it will now give us the output here and and that's one, one of the distinctions that i wanted to point out uh when talking about uh, the first level of verbosity it's only giving you the scans progress so now let's try out the second level um, which again is very very simple all we just type in is second and we, we actually don't need that but i want to show you if uh, there are any changes uh, any of them you should be aware of so i'll just type in enter and now this gives you more information about the scan like uh, the arp responses that you get uh, and um, just more information about the uh, the network here uh, there isn't much because we're pretty much scanning the same target um, so we get the 
the the time to live uh, of each of these packets and you can actually see that here and that can be useful for administrators if you're trying to track hops and uh, information like that so if we display the second you can see that uh, it only uh, it only displays the outputs and uh, now that we understand that i can now go on to the third level of verbosity which again let me just get rid of that and um, sorry let me get rid of that option as well and we type in the third level here and um, you can see we now get the dns resolution um there we are so, so let's go through the results uh, we get the 979 uh, closed ports and the reasons why we got resets. So that tells you, hey, uh, we sent a SYN and uh, we got a reset back, which means the port is closed as we already demonstrated in the previous videos. So it gives you that information. And it's really important to go through this if you're a beginner or a student because it actually tells you how Nmap conduct, uh, conducts its scans. And uh, there we are. So DNS resolution of one IPs took, um, it gives you the amount of time and then it gives you all, uh, all the various fields here. All right. So now that we have that out of the, out of the way, that's, those are just levels of verbosity. We can now reduce verbosity, which again is something many of you might not have known exists. And uh, it really doesn't change much. Um, I'll just show you this right now. So we just type in reduce uh, verbosity like so and we just hit enter sorry about that um i believe that is correct um i don't think that has changed the last time i used it um so we can actually just let's see if this if this option actually actually exists this is interesting uh, because i actually believe uh i'd seen it before but this is my first time coming through this so we'll just say and map and map and uh uh, and let's go through the levels of verbosity here because I'd seen that. And I've used it quite a few times. Um, so there's increased verbosity or you can decrease the verbosity format or the level, which is interesting. I think they have changed uh, the reduced verbosity option, which was quite helpful. So I, I'm guessing we can um, we can decrease this and uh, that's fine so yeah th there really isn't uh, a reason to do that but you guys get the idea uh, you can control what nmap displays to you in the event you're trying to diagnose uh, you know points of failure within the scan and you're trying to analyze what's going wrong uh, as to whether a service or a port is responding or sending a response if you're checking ttl uh, of various packets so that's so so, so that's where you you'd actually start using things like the verbosity level and uh, hopefully you guys found that useful and uh, the outputs so again make use of your outputs a very very uh, useful uh, trick or a very useful tip there and uh, that's going to be it for this video let me know if you have any questions or suggestions in the comment section or at the hackersploit forum at forum.hackersploit.org and i'll be seeing you in the next video